Good evening. I'm uh, pleased to talk to you tonight about uh, pedestrian crash safety, which I believe to be an example of a triumph in bioengineering, which is the application of uh, engineering principles to uh, the human body. Now, pedestrian crash safety is something that was not for a long time considered to be uh, an important factor. Uh, but there are over a million people killed each year uh, on road accidents, and the majority of these are pedestrians when we consider the matter on a global level. Uh, especially countries like India and China. Now, in the past, vehicle designers paid little heed to this, and uh, old-style vehicles, uh, sorry Mercedes, had a host of, of features on the front end that were almost designed to be dangerous for pedestrians, including the, the famous Mercedes star. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to show you some videos first about what happens when pedestrians are actually hit, and then I'm going to uh, show you uh, some of the design features that have been put into place. Uh, we're going to start a bit gently with these real-world videos. They're culled from a variety of places. This, this one is from Helsinki, and there's going to be a lady crossing the road. And she's going to be hit gently by this car. Uh, clearly, this is not a very significant accident. But this one coming up next is much more serious. Uh, and we have a person crossing over here and hit here. And what determines how a person moves when they're hit by a vehicle is the shape of the pedestrian relative to the vehicle. If it's a low-fronted vehicle, they'll rotate onto the bonnet, hit their head, fly through the air, and then hit the ground. And injuries arise in all of these cases. As you can see from this Corvette, which is a slight pedestrian over here, uh, the images on the right are still shots. And it's very grainy, but hopefully you, you, you caught the idea of it. And just finally to show you that motorbike accidents are fairly similar. This is a, a dramatic case, but the movement of the motorcyclist is very similar to what would happen to a pedestrian. <laughs> I, I don't have the translation and actually this slide is going to keep playing so you're going to have to move it on or else you'll see some more so mathematics is important as we've heard and at a basic level injuries are proportional to acceleration acceleration is proportional to the square of impact velocity and inversely proportional to crush so slow down and have softer vehicles it's very simple but the maths tells us it uh, in terms of designing for uh, pedestrian safety the important factors are shape and stiffness talk a little bit more about this. Vehicle mass makes very little difference because all humans are lighter than cars, much lighter than cars. We can use these types of computational models to simulate what happens and we can calculate that a high fronted vehicle like the one on the right, my neighbor's vehicle, is much worse than a low fronted vehicle like my miserable <laughs> Nissan. Uh, and I, I did some further multi-body simulations to show that it's in the top row we see a car striking a pedestrian in the bottom row an SUV, and high-fronted vehicles hit you in the mid-body, damage vital mid-body regions, and the impact is much harder because of the concentricity of it. So vehicle shape effects are very important. This is a cadaver being hit, and you can see that because the bumper is striking at the bu bumper height, the bumper strikes at knee height, the upper and lower legs rotate in opposite directions, which is extremely bad for your knees. And this is a test to show that if you strike the fronts of vehicles with a, a head form and you measure the stiffness of the vehicle, these are lower stiffness and higher stiffness vehicles that are currently on the market. So we have not got it right. There are many vehicles that are much worse than others. So there's a lot of optimization to take place. If you look at the windscreen, the area around the edge of the windscreen is very bad. The area in the middle is better. So there's a lot of design issues taking place in trying to improve the A-frame. If you're going to hit a vehicle, try to hit the windscreen. Uh, in terms of Vehicle design improvements, uh, creating a lower bumper on modern vehicles has had a huge effect on knee injuries. And if you look at the uh, Golf design from 20 years ago compared to today, the sharper bonnet leading edge uh, of older vehicles is very bad. There are many clever new ideas, external airbags on uh, the leading edge of SUVs, also on the, the bumper, and also raising bonnets for head protection, and also uh, airbags on the A-frame. If we look at statistics, 20 years ago, knee injuries occurred in 31% of cases. Now it's down to 22. That might seem like a small amount, but if you're one of those 10% saved, you'll be happy. So uh, we, we are making huge improvements. If we look in, in the world generally, in Europe, there's been about a 50% reduction compared to the USA, where there's only been a 13% reduction, but there aren't many people who are pedestrians in the USA, so it's difficult to make an improvement. However, what we really need to focus on are countries like India and China. And uh, this is an area that I've covered in my book. And if anybody's interested, I'd be happy to talk to them about it. Thank you.